Hi, it's Deborah and Ellen. And you're talking about when the creek overflowed. Yeah. And it, somehow the news spread around the area that uh, we were having troubles and, and everybody tried to help everybody else um, to get through it. Uh, it wasn't pleasant looking at the man uh, the tree had fallen on and um, but when the the creek would overflow people couldn't get home and so they had to stay wherever they could yes. somebody took them in yes somebody uh, took them in each time and uh, this toot seemed to um, really not like me at all and this was your teacher in school named Miss Toot uh-huh and you were always glad when uh, she couldn't get home and had to stay in town. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did kind of appreciate that because uh, she had been so severe with me. Um, it seemed that she didn't even understand that I didn't know what all she meant. Um, when she talked about... Uh, the kids going out to play, she wondered why I didn't go out to play also. And I said, am I supposed to go out and play? <laughs> Mom, nobody explained to Mom what she's supposed to do at school. So <laughs> she didn't know she's supposed to listen to the teacher. <laughs> and there are about two years of this, and then, then my uh, other brothers and sisters are starting to come to school, and they're wondering <laughs> why I didn't go on. <laughs> <laughs> and so Mrs. Harbold came out to, uh, it, that was my maiden name, and it came to school to find out why in the heck I wasn't forging ahead like I did at home. And uh, <laughs> she said, Ellen Ruth, have you, have you read this book? And I said, no, I haven't. And she said, why haven't you? And I said, I didn't know I was supposed to read the book. <laughs> I was just waiting for someone to tell me what to do. <laughs> Mother said, come here. And she had me read the whole darn book in front of the room. And the teacher was so angry about that that she whacked me with the... Uh, ruler. Well, it was kind of a ruler, you know, with, with a severe iron edge. Yeah. And uh, I tried really hard not to cry because I hated her. She just seemed to not like me at all. And didn't you say when they found out you could read, they moved you forward two years? They did. <laughs> <laughs> right away. <laughs> and my mother said, and... And I want I don't want you to let her get out of high school until she's seventeen. That was the that was the um, rule then for getting married. Oh, okay. And uh, so I was looking forward to getting to seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> but um, another teacher was very very sweet to me, and and she was the. She was one of them who um, who played the rope game. Now, I had never played the rope game. I didn't know anything about the rope game. Is it jump rope? Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> anyway, I, I tried. And the second time I jumped, I, I jumped too late. And... Uh, the teacher said, see, I said, she couldn't do anything. And, and she took the thing and, and uh, the ruler and cracked me on the knuckles with, with um, the edge. The edge. Mm -hmm. And I, I just tried really hard not to cry because it hurt so bad. And then the nicest teacher was the one with the rope, and I can't remember her name, 
she was so nice, but she said, P-R-E-T-T-Y. And the other gal went, <laughs> as if, don't tell her how pretty she is. <laughs> and I acted like I didn't know. And, and uh, I don't remember what happened after that, but anyway, we finally uh, got home and, and, uh, and uh, our parents knew where we had been. And, uh, um, oh, I was in a little um, thing where we were, we were putting on a show and, and we won the show. That was it. And and I that's when I lost my um, ruby ring. ruby ring that mother had given to me, and uh, yeah, I'd taken it off to wash my hands after we went to the potty. And but when I came back uh, to, to get, get where I get where I got the ring, there was a man standing there just waiting, and I turned and ran out of there. And when I got home and told mother, she said, uh, don't worry about that, honey. We'll get you another one sometime. And uh, I, I don't remember whether she ever did do that or not, but she said it was all my fault. She meant it was her mother's fault, not your fault. Yes, that's exactly what she yeah. meant. And... Uh, I think if she had lived long enough, she would have. Oh, and sure. Well, we thank you all for watching. If you have questions for Mom, put them in the comments, and we'll answer them next time. Thank you for watching.